Hello, colleagues. Welcome to We Will Get Through This, Transformative Leadership for Disruptive Times. I'm Scott Emig, along with my colleague, John Fischetti. We're really pleased to have you here with us for episode 12. We're gonna to focus today on what we call bringing the good weather. And John, do you wanna kind of introduce everybody to what we're doing? Sure, Scott, it's great to be with you. How's the family, everybody hanging in? We're, we're getting there, we're, we're, we're doing well. It's you know, atypical times, but we're trying to find some good ways to fill them. Yeah, I know each day is its own mood swings, probably in your family as well as mine and all around the world. We bring our deepest sympathies to all the folks that are under so much stress and everybody trying to take care of us. But what you and I want to do through this podcast is try to find a way to give hope to school executives, particularly principals and deputies and their leadership teams, but anyone else who is interested in leadership on how to use this time productively to kind of reinvent the journey that maybe that you've been on with your school toward transformational change that might seem like it's been hijacked by this, but actually could get back on track. And today's episode is really about a framework you and I developed a few years ago called Bring in the Good Weather. And the second part of this is sort of repurposing a video we, and audio production we have about it. But Bringing the Good Weather is a framework that maps onto the 40 other at least frameworks that are out there that we decided we'd be some most so smarty pants we'd add a 41st and really focuses on the priorities for a school as they go on their change journey. It's exactly right. I'm, I'm anxious to hear what the, what the listeners think about our, our framework because you know, when we created it, you're right, there were 40, 41 already out there and we thought, hey, why not one more? Um, but in light of where we are now and in light of the whole focus of this podcast, it sure seems like this notion of how do we create schools where people actually wanna be there and how do we create places that have that, you know, that feeling when you walk in the front door, like this is a place where great learning happens, where kids are excited, where parents, where parents want to be there and community members want to be there. So yeah, if this is now more than ever, this, this framework of ours feels like it's the right fit. And I think the premise is even more important than when we came up with this idea in that as we go back to whatever a future normal will be, our new normal is going to be less of whatever this is and more of what old normal was, but we're not going to be to future normal, maybe ever, but not for a while. In that journey, we could just go back and start trying to get to chapter 26 by the end of the year and just sitting kids in rows and saying, there's a big important test at the end of this year and you all should be worried about it really hard right now. What if we didn't do that? What if we started with a vision that every child is so excited and passionate about their future. And they have some basic skill sets that we call literacy and numeracy and other things. And they're just on the destiny to have a great life and that we prioritize not trying to cram and cover and test, but really about excite, inspire and engage. What would be different? And I think our framework helps with that. And not that it's super intellectual. It's much more of a user's guide to thinking through the various aspects of what we believe. If you were doing these things, you're more likely to get to what I just said than not. Fantastic. Well, let's, let's release it and see how people feel. Great. We look forward to your feedback. We'll post a, a book chapter related to bringing the good weather and a link to that below either the podcast description and or on the YouTube video site. Scott, it's great to be with you. We'll forward ourselves to the past now when we were bringing the good weather in a previous time. Fantastic. We'll talk later. Hi, I'm Scott Emig. And I'm John Fischetti from the School of Education at the University of Newcastle. We're here today to give you an overview and introduction to our concept for school leadership in particular called bringing the good weather. Scott, what is the connection of bringing the good weather to the literature that's already out there around educational and particularly school leadership? Well, John, as you know, there's more than 40 major studies that have been conducted looking at school leadership. And these studies have looked at every aspect of what instructional leaders do. Um, Leithwood talks about the fact that if a leader sets a vision, um, that that can, in fact, lead his or her staff uh, forward. Uh, Strong talks about the fact that you have to hold your staff to high expectations. And again, that will lead your staff forward. There, There is an immense body of research that looks at individual practices, and in some mm -hmm. cases attempts to look more at the system. But what, we, what we're trying to do is pull back, pull back to look at more of a more of a conceptual idea, a big picture idea. You want to talk to us a little bit more about how the bringing the good weather works? Yeah, so I think we came up with this idea. I was using that expression, bringing the good weather, as sort of an anecdote for the attempt to kind of get the green clouds away on a crazy day mm -hmm. running a school. 
and how do you move it forward? And you said, why don't we take that and do something with it, align it to the literature and propose it? So I think its roots come from much more of a trying to connect the research and theory to practice. And in doing so, I think we've analyzed and come up with some elements that synthesize that literature you were speaking of, which is around finding your vision, gaining a compass, understanding the coaching role that we all must play in helping ourselves move forward, particularly as instructional leadership, the understanding of our real purpose in schooling is to drive learning, and the engagement as an outward face that's mm -hmm. just as important, and ultimately, the bringing the good weather itself. So those elements are the components of this framework, which I guess we'll say is the 41st right. that we're introducing to the literature. Scott, will you take us through each one, and we'll see if we can diagram that a bit. Sure. Sure. Well, the very first element in our good weather instrument is this notion that effective leaders actually set a vision. They have a good vision. They know where they want to be. It's it's looking forward. And so um, we, we believe that most good leaders need to come into an organization and say, the status quo is not enough. We need to take ourselves to another level. Mm -hmm. the, the second aspect of the, the good weather is what we call the good compass. And what happens, as everybody knows, is it is very quick to lose sight of where you're going. And the good compass is the ability of a, of a leader to keep everybody on track, to say, let's not lose sight of that vision. We know, we, we know we're up to our neck right now, but let's not lose sight of where we're going. The third aspect of the good weather is something that we refer to as good coaching. And it's, it's a unique aspect of our, of our concept, the good weather, is that we really believe that for any organization to reach their potential, you have to remove some of the hierarchy and you have to begin to work together as colleagues. And so in the good coaching, we really push school leaders to think about their staff and their team as individuals who bring a tremendous amount of ability to their organization and, and helping to tap into that. Mm -hmm. The fourth piece we talk about is what we call good learning. And that's the notion that any organization can't ever stop learning. And, th and that should be a no-brainer for, for educational organizations. But unfortunately, it's not. So it's, it's immersing yourself in the, the current literature. It's forward-looking. It's trying to figure out how does the learning inform where we're going. The, the next piece we talk about is what we call good engagement. Good engagement. And good engagement is really about bringing in all the resources that a school, a school community can take advantage of. It's a recognition that a school or an organization sits in the midst of a context. There's a history and there's a culture and there's a huge community. And it's tapping into that, it's tapping into that group to actually propel the organization forward. So John, if you look at these pieces, um, talk to me about how all these come together to form the good weather. If you think about the complexity of just trying to do what you just described and put it in the reality of a, of a real automobile in motion going 110 down the freeway, what you get is the sense that on any given day, it's really difficult to put these in play. We have a lot of adults, a lot of children, a lot of needs, a lot of crises du jour. And the real key element of the effective leadership we're promoting and bringing the good weather is the circle around all of it, which will turn into our little ray of sunshine. Ultimately, the good weather comes from the opportunity to, in spite of what's happening that might be that the cup is half empty, mm -hmm. that in your mind as a leader, you're always driving a positive force, always taking it forward, even when there's something that hasn't gone well, and providing that inspirational leadership that overcomes sort of the lethargy or a chance for staff to get cynical because of the politics or the issues or just because there's so many crises facing the families and the students and the teachers themselves. So bringing the good weather is surrounded by the ultimate element of a, of a leader's ability to do that every day. And with the vision, compass, coaching, learning, and engagement mindset, being able to add the substance to that real uh, sort of a important disposition of positive attitude and connecting that to the instruction in the school. So what we hope we try to do is to give you a new lens in which you might be able to self-assess your own attributes and drive your own professional learning. In what we do from here, we'd like to work with you to do a self-assessment around you, your staff, your school's ability to take bringing the good weather and put it in practice, describing what you believe you need additional experiences to help gain your, your attributes, and then to put this in play all simultaneously. Because the difference in leadership then in other roles in other settings is all of these have to happen all the time simultaneously to drive a school forward. And ultimately for the individual leader, they have to feel 
that they're bringing the good weather is adding up to a productive and amazing career. So we keep those leaders on track to keep, keep doing it, mm -hmm. not just today and not just this week, but year after year. So the school might show benefit for it, its learners and its community. Thanks, John. I, I, I'm hopeful that we can work with you to bring the good weather. And we're looking forward to furthering this work in collaboration. Thanks.